everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. This is Previn Dure from Dice University and in today's video, we are going to talk about the native advertising bad examples, guys. It's going to be really interesting, guys, but before we proceed further, please, please support this channel by hitting the big red subscribe button for this channel, the like button for this video, only if you like this video, guys, at the end of the video, guys, not now, and do not forget to hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any of upcoming videos as well. Let's begin, shall we? This video is brought to you by Landerize.com. Create highly optimized landing pages in minutes. Get your 14-day free trial in the description below this video. Welcome to today's video, everybody. In today's video, we will be talking about native advertising, the bad example. So we have always talked about what is the good side of native ads, how it will happen if the native ads is done good, how it will actually improve your brand and everything. But today we are going to talk about the negative side of native advertising and how it's going to look and how it's going to feel and all that, guys. So it's going to be really crazy. Guys. It's going to be really interesting. Thing, make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video guys so let me just explain to you first what is native advertising native advertising is simply a paid ads created by a company or a particular individual to promote a particular offer so some brands usually like Netflix and everything they create native ads to promote their original shows they promote uh, create Airbnb to promote their products and all this kind of stuff so this is how usually native ads will be done so native ads right we will Actually, take a uh, view from a uh, perspective of an uh, affiliate market. Is what happens is that we go ahead to an offer. We take that particular offer. We go to landing page. We create a landing page, and then what we do is we go to the native advertising platforms. There's like a lot of native advertising platform out there. Outbrain is there. Uh, some of what is that? Outbrain is there. Uh, Rave content is there. MGID is there. All these uh, particular networks is there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose a particular networks is there from there, and then we're gonna create our native advertising. So the one that I'm going to use today to create a native advertising is Outbrain. I'm gonna show you guys what is native advertising and what happens when native advertising goes wrong so the first things that they, is that I want to tell you guys what you shouldn't do when you're creating a native advertising so let me log in into my outbrain first so you're gonna go like normal you're gonna hit create campaign you're gonna start a campaign so what first you're gonna name your campaign so I'm just gonna name my campaign test one three four five seven nine ten campaign objective so this is where people make the first mistakes so with campaign objective you will always remember that we are actually bringing the traffic towards our landing page or our offer page let's say you have even offer page right your main traffic objective your campaign objective with native ads is to drive traffic some people actually what they do is they go ahead and put conversion because they need conversion as an affiliate you need conversion as a brand you need conversion i know all these guys but conversion is not the way to go so they will actually go ahead and hit conversion this is the first mistake that they will do so always when you're actually building a campaign go for traffic so that's the first thing so once you have done that they will ask you to choose a creative format so each every creative formats right make sure if you do not understand regarding them there will always be a guide button regarding whatsoever guys they will have a uh, the, whatsoever ad network advertising networks that you're using they will have a guide section for you so you can actually see single is for what carousel is for what basically let me just explain to you if you're using single in our brain it's usually for a normal native ads a common native ads that you guys using we will actually select single unless you're doing an e-commerce store you're, you're pro selling products you're selling clothes and all this kind of stuff then carousel comes into the play so the budget so the budget is where people get uh, uh, people get confused a lot as well so the first thing about the budget is that when it comes to the CPC, right, it's always use the suggested budget. So if you click on each each native advertising platform, they work a little bit different, but most of them will have their suggested budget. So their suggested bit CPC budget, you have to go ahead and use the suggested budget. I would highly recommend you to do so. But if you're a little bit uh, extreme and aggressive, what you're gonna do is you're gonna increase the advertising a little bit. You're gonna increase it you increase the budget a little bit more. So when you increase the budget a little bit more, right, you will get more data. Keep in mind that native advertising is actually a data business. So the more data you have, the more easier it is for you to actually optimize your campaign. So make sure you do 
it correctly here so a lot of people actually make a mistake here they actually go ahead when they look at the suggested budget right they go for the minimum budget 0 0.03 so I'm going for 0 0.03 this is a bad mistake that they would make and this can make your native advertising perform very very bad so the budget type this is a confusion rather than a mistake guys a lot of people actually get confused when it comes to budget type with native advertising i would highly suggest you to go with the collins golden rule collins golden rule is simple if you have budget more than five thousand dollars what you got to do is your bid your daily budget is going to be 1.5 times your cpa which means your pay out so one point let's say your payout is three hundred dollars it's going to be 1.5 times your payout that is if you have more budget if you have lesser than five thousand dollars as your budget then you're going to do one times payout so if your payout is three hundred dollars your daily budget is going to be three hundred dollars so make sure you do that and the second thing is a lot of people make mistake here as well is that they actually schedule their campaign even before testing their campaign so remember colin actually says in his native advertising rule as well rule number one testing is everything you have to test your campaign if you didn't test your campaign properly you're gonna get screwed you're gonna get plunge it you're gonna go really really bad so when in the testing period you need all the information that you need you do don't go very specific during the testing period because optimization and scaling you're gonna go very very specific so when you're testing it don't go very specific try to go very lenient and try to go very media trade uh, like for example when it comes to schedule don't 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 hit anything don't set dates don't uh, Don't set times or anything guys. so the targeted like I told you same thing with the schedule with Testing just select the country's target a lot of people will go very specific in the country's region uh, Cities and all that don't do that just hit a particular country if you want to target Brazil just hit Brazil Don't go ahead and select a particular state in Brazil and everything first Optimize uh, when you're doing optimization then you select that so this is one of the mistakes that a lot of people do and then the uh, advanced targeting audience interest this one normal just select a particular interest this is doesn't matter guys this is depending on you platform also the same don't limit it to one certain platform unless your particular offers clearly states that they only allow these platforms to run so do that so once you hit all that you're going to do uh, content so when you go to content right you're going to see over here this is how the content will look like so this is the mistake that a lot of people will actually do so depending on your native advertising platform your content might look a little bit different for example some native advertising platform they might have title and description some only might have title like outbrain uh, some will only have brand name and all these kind of stuff guys so totally depending on the native advertising platform you're working with that's how it is formed guys so so with your site name right your site name here this is your site name or people sometimes in a lot of uh, affiliate uh, sorry native advertising platform they actually name it as a brand name so this one you usually just put your offer name let's say your offer is clickbank uh, this is the affiliate network guys so sorry I, I i cannot think of any offer name okay there's an offer in a uh, clickbank called lapitox so uh, this is the offer name right so you're just going to put the offer name here or there's another way how you can actually use it so you're going to do www.lapitox.com you can actually do this so something like this which is which will be really uh, wise thing to do as well a lot of people make mistake here is when their brand name right they actually see oh there's 60 characters available i'm going to put a very short description for my brand don't do that that's a bad thing to do and when it comes to your title right make sure when you write your title i if you see my previous video on native advertising i've actually explained to you literally what are the good practices that you need to follow so one of the major problem that people do in native ads is whenever they want to do a best meal of the day okay this is a very very bad example of a native advertising campaign and this is what you should not do so what you have to do is you have to make sure the first letter is always in capitalized uh, always has been capitalized but don't capitalize the whole word guys like this is how it should actually look 
rather than you capitalizing the whole word which is not the correct way to do so make sure you do something like this and always remember right when it comes to the titles questions works very well and don't try to be very general try to be more specific for example how specific is that best meal of the day in Kuala Lumpur you know you're being very specific you're being specific for a demographics you know that's that's how specific you can be or you can do something like this best meal of the day for pregnant women you know be more specific you're targeting a specific audience so this is how you actually should do and do not do the mistakes guys so when it comes to creatives right a lot of people actually do uh, pictures like let me just show you guys uh, is that a correct picture that I did no oops sorry I'm just gonna show you a picture so let's say for a meal of a day right meal picture so I'm going to show you sample picture which is not good and sample picture which is good. So you want to, what is this? It's supposed to be a meal picture. So meal picture, right? So you can see these pictures are not good. This is not zoomed pictures. This kind of pictures, zoomed pictures are very good. And when you're doing an image, right, try not to have words titles in this kind of image especially if you're working with uh really really strict advertising platforms like ad date and everything right if you have this kind of captions with the word they will actually ban your ads so don't do like this try to zoom in more zoom in more so this kind of stuff and try not to do if you're putting a picture a person's picture right woman's image right for example let's say woman's image so woman's image right this kind of picture works very well this is real pictures but this picture you know that it's actually a stock image right you see it's a stock image so stock image works very badly when it comes to native advertising so when they when you have images right you have to consider all this and uh, by doing all this you will actually prevent your ad from going bad and you will actually make your ad look very good so make sure you avoid all these bad example and try to create a very beautiful native ads for yourself so i will be i think that's about it in today's video guys so i'll be seeing you in the next video but before that i just want to let you guys know i've actually included the link to dice university forum in the description below dice university forum is a community where african marketers come from all over the world to collaborate to help each other like if you have an ad or something you can actually post your ads in the group and you can say hey does it look well this is my ad is, is it good any recommendation anything that you guys like to pinpoint and everything they are very helpful and they help each other guys so make sure you go ahead and join them as well so basically before i go i just want to say please please support this channel by hitting the big red subscribe button for this channel the like button for this video uh, only if you like this video as well as the bell notification so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and so that we can keep creating good content for you all the time i'll be seeing you in the next one guys so till then tada bye bye